Welcome to Getting Started with KiCad version 9. In this series, we'll be showing you how to create a print circuit board, a PCB. We'll be making a simple water alarm like this. When water connects the positive voltage supply to the gate of a MOSFET, it acts like a simple switch, delivering power to a very loud buzzer to let you know your house is about to flood or your sewer's backing up, there's water underneath your sink, a toilet overflowed, whatever. You can place them wherever you would like to know when water's misbehaving. For more information on this circuit, there'll be a link in the description. First things first, let's install KiCad. Now you won't be using it just yet in this first episode, but it will help you to follow along if you can see the software. Head to keycad.org, click on the big download button. Choose your operating system. I'll be using version 9.0.1. If what you see is different and you want to use exactly the same version, just scroll down further on the operating system page where you can find the previous releases. Follow any directions you might see here. If presented with installation options, just keep everything default, unless you really want something different. However, if you're just getting started with this, I don't recommend making any changes. KiCad is not just a single program, but a collection of programs used to design a PCB. PCBs are designed in a computer-aided design software, or CAD for short. Some say KiCad is hard to learn. It can be. It's pretty powerful now. Because it can do so much, many features take a bit to figure out. Like a new phone or a new car, some features you'll use often, while others you may never need. I've been using KiCad for well over a decade, and it's easier to use now than ever before. So hang in there. Even if you don't follow along in KiCad, I hope you'll watch each video and it'll build your confidence and someday soon you'll jump in. Let's go over the steps we'll cover in this series. We'll start putting our schematic together in the schematic editor program using symbols in KiCad's library. The schematic editor is where we tell which symbols pins to connect to other pins in the circuit. These connections are also called nets. Then we'll run through creating a custom schematic symbol. Next, we'll return to the schematic editor to use that new symbol. We will also assign footprints to the symbols in the schematic. By footprint, I'm referring to the physical pads and holes on the PCB used to mechanically and electrically attach components. We'll create one footprint that is not included in KiCad's libraries, so you can learn how to use that tool as well. Then we'll return to Schematic Editor to assign that new footprint to its symbol. We then open up our board layout program called PCB Editor and set up our design rules as specified by the PCB manufacturer. It's here that we move the parts around as needed and draw copper connections known as traces or tracks. Then we'll use the Image Converter program to easily bring in an image to our PCB. After that, we will generate a set of files known as Gerbers to represent the layers of the board we plan to make. We will use the Gerber Viewer program in KiCad to examine those fresh files before we send them off to the PCB manufacturer. Finally, we'll create a bill of materials and order the components. Once they all arrive, just solder them to the board and build your alarm. If you want to understand the PCB layers and terminology better, Take a moment to check out the link in the description. Come back for episode two, where we'll start our project and get going in the schematic editor. See you soon.